Review number three. No bake cookie. What are we throwing down today? Healthy no bakes. Why? Because the machine said so. So, anyways, let's get to the point before I ramble. Right now, in a saucepan, I have a quarter cup of almond milk. Right here, as you can see. And what I am going to add to that quarter cup of milk is going to be my fat replacement. No bake cookies are usually made with butter because butter helps bind everything together and because Martha Stewart absolutely loves it. So what I did was I took a, a banana and I diced it up very fine. I used 100 grams and we're going to add this to the mix. And you want to cook this on about a medium, medium high heat because you're going to want to take this to a slight boil. Okay? So I'm going to turn up this to a medium, medium high heat. What else am I going to add to my no-bake cookies? Well, I'm going to add one scoop of the no-bake whey, but not yet. A little bit of salt, because salt will help enhance the flavoring of the product. So I have my little Trader Joe's sea salt crystals. Boom. Done. Next, chocolate peanut butter and oatmeal in the no-bake protein powder. Calls for two tablespoons of cocoa powder, which is about 16 grams total. Okay? That's in there. Next, got to make these nice and sweet, right? A half a cup of Splenda. Okay? This comes out to about 15 grams if you want to weigh it out. Boom. In the mix. Next, peanut butter. I have a fourth of a cup of Smuckers. You can use whatever brand you do enjoy. Uh, one fourth of a cup comes out to about 50 grams of peanut butter. Okay? That is next into our mix here. Alright. What else? going into our recipe today. Well, no bakes are made of what? Oatmeal. I have a cup and a half, which is a little bit over 120 grams of oatmeal. Okay, 120 grams worth right here. That's what we're going to use. First, you got to bring this to a slight boil. Okay, and I already talked about the quarter cup of almond milk. We're also going to add a dash of vanilla extract with the no-bake cookie once it starts to come to a boil, all right? So what I need you to do is simply mix these ingredients up in your saucepan. So again, that would be your almond milk, your banana, which is your fat replacement, peanut butter, which is one-fourth of a cup or 50 grams, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, and a little bit of salt, okay? You can kind of start to see what it looks like. It's starting to be like a big, thick mess. It's exactly what you want, okay? And when it starts to slowly boil, which shouldn't take long, that's when we're going to pull it off, okay? And it's starting to do that right now, okay? So I'm going to cut the heat, bring it here. Now, you want this to cool for about a minute, just so it can kind of settle, and that way nothing sticks. Um, and again, I have my oatmeal in a big container here. Uh, a scooper is generally about 30 grams worth. So I did four of those in there, 120 divided by 30 is four, okay? So we got our oatmeal, we're going to add just a touch of vanilla extract, like so, add our oatmeal, like so, and last but not least, one scoop of the MTS No Bake Cookie Whey, like so, okay? That is everything. Now. What do we place these on? Well, when you do no-bake cookies, you want to place them on wax paper so they can kind of sit and also harden up. I would give this at least 10 to 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is toss aside all my junk right here. Chef's Bob Kitchen is now turning to shame. I can place my salt right up there. Okay, wax paper. Now while that is sitting there for a minute, take this wax paper, drop it right here, okay? Now this is sat for a minute, let's mix everything up. Now again guys, this should come out very thick and um, that is exactly how you want your no bakes because when you drop them on this uh, wax paper, they should be very thick and you're going to want them to bind together. You don't want any runny 
kind of uh, no bakes because runny no bakes are not good. No bakes also also aren't great to bake in the summer. Why? Because it's so hot out. When it's cooler out, they dry quicker and they don't get runny. All right. So almost there. And again, you can see how thick this is starting to really come out. And look, that's exactly what you want, guys. Okay. So just about done. Um, at the end of this video, when everything's said and done, you're going to have my three reviews for the protein shake, the sludge, and the no-bake cookies. I will place all your nutritional information at the bottom. The nutritional information will be for the entire recipe. Um, you know, you could double this, but again, the size of your cookies will vary depending on the, the type you drop on the wax paper. So the amount per cookie will definitely be different. But again, this is a very low-cal recipe. This is something that, as you see, takes only a couple minutes. And these are amazing snacks that you can just keep in your fridge, take on the go, and very healthy in general, very unprocessed like you would buy in the stores, or not the Martha Stewart or Paula Deen you would see on the Food Network. Okay? So now that this is all combined together, you're simply going to take a tablespoon and drop it on the sheet of paper. Okay? And you're just going to repeat the process and leave them sit about an inch away from each other. Okay? And what I need you to do is, again, let these cool about 10, 15 minutes. You can even put them in the fridge to help them cool quicker. And guys, that's really all it takes. These are going to be your no-bake cookies. And again, once they cool, they will harden up a little bit. They will kind of get a nice firmer outside with still a soft, gooey consistency in the middle. And that's exactly what you're looking for in a no-bake. All right? So what I'm going to do is finish the and after they cool, guys, your no-bake cookies are complete. They should be compact, like so. And again, real easy, real simple, portable to go. The whole recipe is 42 grams of fat, 142 grams of carbs, 53 grams of protein, which is shortly under 100 calories per cookie, coming to around 3.5 grams of fat, 12 grams of carbs, and around 4.5 grams of protein. And again, 12 cookies. You can make more, you can make less. That's just the recipe came down to. I will leave the nutritional information in the comment box below. But again, too simple, too easy, takes the 10 minutes. Guys, MTS, no bake cookies in the house. We out.